so in next slide we are going to see some important some important numerical that is somehow asked in uh, around uh, for or five marks they are generally asking so see here uh, face value of a bond is 20000 and rate of return is 14% rate of return is 14% rate of interest is 12% when compounding was done at semi annually basis i have already told when semi annually basis number of years will be gets doubled and rate of interest will will get half find current yield we have to calculate current yield if bond matures in 4 year number of years also given so what is given just write down first ror is given 14% rate of interest that is coupon rate is 12 percent face value is 20,000 and we have to calculate current yield what is the formula for current yield is face value upon market value into coupon rate into coupon rate but market value is not given directly as they have given in previous example directly so we need to calculate first market value so to calculate market value i have already taken six to seven examples so first calculate present value factor what is the rate and market value present value uh, factor is always at ROR right so what is uh, ROR given they have given 14 percent but it is compounded on semi annually basis so it will get to half 14 ka ho jayega 7 percent and rate of interest will get half that is 12 percent to 6 percent and duration will get double that is 4 to 8 years right so to calculate present value factor i have already discussed in the previous slides that uh, first uh, use ror 1 upon 1 plus r that and uh, number of years here is, it will be 8 years so 1 divided by 1.07 so number of years is 8 so plus equal sign for 8 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so note down the result 0 0.8020 plus GT button then you will get 5.9712 right so then put that two values uh, pressing equal button and pressing GT button so so where to put face value into coupon rate into GT that is bigger value plus face value into smaller value right so as I have already told in the previous slide how to calculate market value very simple face value into coupon rate into bigger value plus face value into smaller value just solve that just solve very simple see here five, uh, 6 into 5.9712 into 200 that will you will get the answer 6 into 6 into 5.9712 into to double zero right so after solving that you will get somehow value solve this also you will get value when you add when you add you will get one one eighteen thousand eight hundred and five point forty four that is your market value so you have to calculate first market value you have to calculate first market value unless and until you calculate market value you are not able to solve any numerical that is not able to calculate the current yield so see here, here is a 20,000, 20,000 they have given multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5.9712 and divide it by 100. So you will get 6165.44 plus solve this you will get 11,640 and after solving you will get that that is a market value. So now we have to calculate current yield very simple market value is calculated using face value upon market value into coupon rate also note here when you are compounding uh, semi annual year quarterly to calculate the current yield you did not have to divide or multiply that coupon rate so it should be taken on annually basis only so note here take original uh, coupon rate that is rate of interest so face value upon market value into 12 percent that is your rate of interest or coupon rate you will get see here 20,000 into 12 divided by 18805 you will get a desired answer 12.76% so I'll say answer is in percent because we have not divided by 100 so very important how to calculate current yield that is uh, this numerical is uh, asked as a case study for uh, 5 marks 
very very important in that numerical you have to calculate market value first then current yield so friends we will move to the next slide that is our target that is ytm how to calculate ytm very simple very very simple see here uh, one note here if in a question given that bond traded at a discount or a premium uh, say 10 percent if if discount for 10 percent then initial face value minus 10 percent discount means less so minus 10 percent premium at, at 10 percent premium means initial face value plus 10 percent so just remember that two points that will help you in the solving the numerical uh, see very important how to do a calculation of ytm how to do a calculation of ytm ytm formula just remember very very important formula remember it note it mug up it so uh, ytm is nothing but your coupon rate plus coupon rate plus this is whole in a one bracket huh? right coupon rate plus face value minus market value upon n is number of years divided by face value plus market value upon 2 so see here example very simple example and uh, very important for your examination also see face value is given 1500 for a tenure of 5 years market value is also given so no need to worry market value given 1425 rate of interest is 8% so we have to calculate YTM that is yield to maturity so we have formula simply directly we have a coupon rate what is coupon rate is nothing but your rate of interest then again put face value minus market value face value is also given market value is also given divide by number of years number of years is for five years divided whole by face value plus market value upon two and always note here multiply this bracket this uh, term by 100 why to convert in percentage form so simply simply 1500 minus uh, 1425 will give you 75 divided by 5 is 15 then again 1500 plus 1425 is equal to and divide again by it by 2 that will get 162.5 so again uh, solve that bracket that is 15 divided by 1462 2 that will give you a uh, 0 0.0102 and add plus 8 in that same so you will get your desired answer 8.0126 so friends very important you need to learn here uh, solve bracket wise first then add the coupon rate in the same right and multiply it by 100 so we will get your desired answer 15 divided by 1462.5 into 100 so 1.0256 plus 8 you will get 9.0256 as an answer so friends this is the calculation of ytm if they want to ask numerical directly giving the all that terms that is generally asked for 3 marks if they want to make it complicated for 5 marks, they will not give you a market value. They will give you a rate of return and then you have to calculate first market value and using that market value, you have to calculate YTM. So how to calculate a market value that is present value, that is intrinsic value, I have already told in the previous slides. So friends, you have learned a lot in this video. See, after getting the that values, uh, we need to calculate a rate of return. See here, uh, one another example, the calculation of rate of return by heat and trial method. That is also called as heat and trial method. So don't worry about, uh, don't get confused seeing this formula. This is somehow large formula. But when you solve numerical, in the, in the previous slide, I have also teach you how to solve big formula, avoid formula. So in this formula, in this numerical, I'm also going to teach you how to uh, uh, solve the numerical don't worry about don't get nervous seeing the formula just see the formula let's look at it see uh, to calculate rate of return to calculate rate of return by heat and trial method so what is the formula here just uh, focus here lower rate of return lower rate of return plus this is plus this is all in bracket plus present value factor at lower rate minus initial investment that is face value divided by present value factor at lower rate minus present value factor at higher rate 
and this multiply this term by difference of higher and lower rate very simple and uh, here we need to assume lower rate when I explain you a numerical then you will get clear how to assume lower rate and higher rate for low rate one note here for low rate present value will be higher and for higher rate present value will be lower so after solving numerical you will uh, come to know how that uh, applies see here see one example to calculate the rate of return bond having face value 10,000 rate of interest is 8% number of years is 5% we have to find the rate of return to calculate the rate of return use a hit and trial method hit and trial method so we have to assume two rates one is higher and lower so uh, com as compared to rate of interest we will assume lower rate as 7% you can assume 7, 6, 5, any so, but it should be less than your rate of interest so we have assumed 7% higher rate we have assumed uh, it as a 8% uh, it should be higher than the lower rate so we have assumed it as a one uh, assume it as a nine percent assume it as a nine percent so it is a uh, I have uh, so assume it is a nine percent it should be one should be lower rate should be lower than rate of interest higher rate should be higher than the rate of interest so assume that so very first thing calculate present value at lower rate I have already told you how to calculate present value how to calculate market value that is present value so face value into coupon rate into present value factor that is a uh, gross total into again plus add this into face value into your equal sign for the number of years so present value factor we need to calculate so for a 7% that is lower rate so 1 divided by 1.07 that is 1 upon r plus 1 upon uh, 1 plus r upon 100 that will give you 1 divided by 1.07 that will give you uh, number of years is 5 plus equal sign for 5 times 1 2 3 4 5 so uh, you will get nth term that is your fifth term that is uh, present value factor for fifth term that will be 0 0.7129 right then press gt button you will get 4.10 then put that values in the above formula right for nth term uh, we have solved this using the calculator we also solve this using the calculator so put these values instead of these two brackets this value and you will get 10409.14 as your present value for lower rate repeat this same for higher rate repeat this for higher rate what is our higher rate 9 percent so 1 upon 1 plus r upon 100 that is 1 divided by 1.09 1 divided by 1.09 for 5 times so it press equal time sign for 5 times 1 2 3 4 5 so for nth that is fifth term you have get a factor 0 0.4699 press gt sign you will get a gt gross total for total 5 years 3.8896 right put that values in the respective uh, term you and solve this you will get 9610 as a present value at higher rate that is at 9% I have already told you in the previous slides so you when you get that two values just put that values see here also a formula see uh, lower rate of interest plus present value at lower what is the lower rate of interest we have assumed that is 7% plus present value factor at lower rate of uh, lower rate we have calculated present value for 10409 so put 10409 minus face value 10000 given divided by present value at a lower rate 10409 that are, uh, we have around here in the minus uh, present value factor at the higher rate so present value factor at higher rate is 9610 so put here into difference of lower and higher rates we have assumed so 9 and 7 so difference is 2 so solve this uh, 10409 minus 10000 is 409 and after subtracting this you will get 799 multiply this term this is whole term by 2 not a bracket so 7 plus uh, 0.5118 into 2 and the final rate of return you will get 8.023 as your answer so friends we have learned a lot of in this video how to calculate YTM, how to calculate market value, how to calculate that is intrinsic value, how to calculate uh, by hit and trial method that is rate of return. So friends don't forget to subscribe to your own channel Banker Zone, uh, like, subscribe, share, also press the bell icon. Thank you friends.